Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing the answer to two questions. Number one, why does he look at other women? Number two, what can you do about it starting today? Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to become a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man you want without the need for gimmicks or manipulation and as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you. Now, if you've had a guy in your life or if you have a guy today, you might have experienced this painful event of having your guy really looking at somebody else, and by somebody else I mean a woman, with eyes of lust <laughs> to the point where you feel upset, where you feel disrespected. And I'm here to answer two things. Why does this happen? Well, it happens because he is a guy and inside of him, he has something that has been throughout thousands and thousands of years being building up where he feels attracted to attractive women. It's like, it's just the way nature works. I'm not justifying that he does it before you throw tomatoes at me. I'm not saying he's cool by doing it or that he has a hall pass. What I'm saying to you is that there's a reason why it happens and it's natural for him to feel the urge, not to actually pull through and do it, but to feel the urge is natural. And, and here's why I'm drawing the line, because I think there's this belief that where you can take it to the extreme of saying that even the urge for him to feel that is wrong, where you can say that to your mind, well, if you really love me, he wouldn't even feel it. If he really appreciated me, he, he wouldn't even think, he wouldn't, it wouldn't even occur to him to feel the urge, which basically means that him feeling the urge is wrong. Him feeling the urge is natural. If he didn't feel the urge for that, he wouldn't feel the urge to connect with you either. So the urge is not wrong. What you want to impact in terms of behavior is the actual having to go ahead and do it. Does that make sense? So I think that the best way to do to deal with this would be if you notice that your guy is disrespecting you because you feel disrespected when he does that, is to let him know that you understand that it's natural for him to feel that urge versus making him wrong for even feeling that way, which means it's a, it's a non-starter if you actually make him wrong for, for nature being inside of him. But if you say, I understand that you feel the urge, and I'm not saying that you're wrong or bad or perverted for feeling the urge, what I'm asking you right now is to suppress your urge to follow through with it, because when you do it, I feel disrespected. Because if I do the same thing to you, if an amazing, strong, tall, guy showed up and I gosh all over him in front of you or even not in front of you, you would not like it. You wouldn't enjoy it. You would feel disrespected. And that's the, the feeling that I have right now. I guess my biggest point is this, understanding the difference between the natural urge to do something and the actual having to do it are two different things. There's different levels that he could play it at. Number one is he feels the feeling of being attracted to other women. That ain't going to change. If he's a real guy, he's going to feel that urge. The thing that can change is having to take the next step, which is interacting with women, uh, expressing it in a, in a way where she notices, flirting with that, that's, that's not necessary. And even one more step is, well, now I have to have sex with that person. That, that would be even more extreme. So the second two steps are not necessary to step into the first one. He's going to feel whether he loves you or not, whether he appreciates you or not, whether he's attracted to you or not. It has no bearing on the love he has for you just want to make sure that he understands that he is foregoing the urge of getting validation in that moment to build something more sustainable and more meaningful. That's in essence what he's doing. I feel the urge, normal, natural, expressing it. It might be natural, but not good. <laughs> and if you suppress the urge to say it, then you can sustain a longer relationship where you feel connected to him. He feels connected to you and you, you feel a sense of a life security, if you want to call it that, that allows you to relax more and share more of yourself with him. Hope this is helpful to you in some way. Uh, if it does make sense to you, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit the little bell so you can be notified of new episodes whenever they come out. Third and most important of all, there's two parts to the third thing, which is the most important. Number one, if you want to learn how to take these concepts deeper, I created a masterclass for you to show you exactly how to do this, how to create a relationship that you want with less pain in less time. And that's something that on the first link on the description of this video, you can click on it and be taken to that masterclass. Now, if, you're, if you know yourself, 
if you've watched not just my videos but other people's videos and you know that despite the fact that you can learn things the learning curve is five years longer than if someone helps you if you know within yourself that getting specific help getting accountability getting better strategy and being shown a path of least resistance to get what you want is beneficial then on the second link in the description of this video you'll find a way to connect with me to apply to have a call with me where we can find out if we are a fit to work together thank you so much for connecting with me and as always i challenge you live a full and a conscious life <laughs>